<laughs> Is anyone ever bluffing in this spot, guys? That was just nuts, wasn't it? Flopping top set in a three bet pot. Come on. This is what I've been asking for, man. Don't do it to me again, please. Fuck me. Oh my God, he's checked. This is so sick. Probably pot. Probably pot. Could get so many fucking folds here. But as you can see, I've been doing it all day, so. And it's insanely polar here. I've got five, four, and then sets, and then like ace, nine. No, I don't even have that. I'm, I literally am just pure polar here because I can't bet so many of my hands that bet the turn. Look at what people are calling me with on the turn, guys. I've just potted the turn. He's called. I mean, maybe it's okay. Maybe it's okay to call the turn. Really good river. F fantastic. The guys, that's all I've been asking for. It's just a flop at hand and then have something else, have someone else have a slightly worse hand. That's all I've wanted. I'm not, I'm not asked for complicated. This time I didn't even think about it, and I think it would just be obscene because... Oh, God. 91. I mean, we probably have to continue on 91. And um, we'll call small bets here. I think you have a turn card, Nick. As am I. He's got Jack with blue features. <laughs> <sighs> it's not it. Uh, Definitely check fold the turn, and if he checks back, I will probably reach into my box of tricks. <laughs> <laughs> box of tricks. <laughs> right, so we don't need to go all in here. We do block ace-king, which is good. We do block aces, which is good. I think they would mostly bet the turn anyway. I have a 93, which means I'm definitely going to bet. And I think Olin is overplay, so I'm just going to bet big, because that means I can still bet something like ace-king myself that wouldn't have shoved pre, or obviously king-queen, which can't really bet big, or queens. I don't think I want to shove queens, because his line is like very capped. I think he bets the turn almost always, unless he has kings with the club specifically. So I think here, I can bet this. And he has king-jacks, which is probably going to just have to call always. That's not folding. Yeah. What do you think, James? Yeah, I think... Was, what was your slicing scheme on the river? Um, I'll I, probably... I, I think I would have gone... I would have played block all in, I think. So I think that hand plays block. Okay, we have another situation over here. We're going to use 40 on king 4 3 flush draw. Um, we do block two king axes, which is good. Um, and we're definitely going to bet this card. I'm not going to bet it, like, all the time. But I'm going to use probably... just can't think what sizing I want to use here. I think this makes sense. I probably want to talk about this one as well. This is interesting. And then we definitely have to bluff this combo, 100%, I think. Uh, and I'm going to use two thirds, because I don't think my blockers are great when we don't block ace queen suited or ace 10 suited. So I'm just going to use two thirds and hope T's can fold a king. I'll use 80. Also don't have diamonds, which is obviously great. Um, he can have ace x of diamonds which I do expect to look me up, especially when he double chops. So we're actually, we're asking him to fold a king, which isn't great, but um, right. I'm also not checking queen high and I don't think I want to do anything differently on flop turn. Uh, we are going to see a flop, but not just a flop, Jadaban. We're going to see a flop that's got a six on it. I believe. Oh! <laughs> well, you you were correct. I was correct, but I don't know how how I if I wanted to be correct or not. Yeah. So at this stack yeah. depth, we absolutely cannot just raise and fucking pump money in here. We just have to call. On this turn, what's the worst hand I'm gonna bet? Probably two pair. Probably two pair. I'm gonna use this size. So two pair, I think, is a little too big a size. But okay, so two thirds yeah, then. Because it because it gets rel it becomes relative. Yeah. Know, so two thirds pot, I think, is good. And then I think I just pretty much have the best hand. I think I want to use big bet over bet, like big bet and all in, yeah, for yeah. sure. And I would this hand will just definitely make it into the big bet. And I think I lose insanely infrequently. Yeah. So if you. Oh my god. <laughs> Snap shove. What happened to the flop? Check check. Oh, I mean, this is really sick. Check check flop. Yeah, I'm gonna fold. Yeah, I think it's a pretty easy fold. I just, I, I like to think about things, but I just, don't, I can't think yeah. of any good reason to call there after snap shove. It just seems like it's just always it. Okay. I, I was looking at all my overbets over my 200k sample. On the yeah. All the hands together average out to making four big blinds per hand. Seems pretty good. Oof. <laughs> That's a lot of big blinds. That is a lot of big blinds.
possible. Why don't I ever have a set? Can you talk, can you talk to me about like having a set? Because you had some today. It looked really fun. Yeah, how do you do, how do you do that? So you have to moan about it. You're like, oh, I just got to stack my four bed power of aces and then it's going to come. But I always moan. Just a little bit more. Moan more? Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> uh, with a diamond, I would start mixing some, some bluffs here, but I'm, I'm not going to do it without a diamond. With a heart, we'll, we'll probably bluff the turn though. And then we'll be all in the river. He should use like pot check, I think. Or at least 80 check. And we're in the same boat. So we pot, I think we just pot this turn. If we want to bet here, we're going to bet like super infrequently. I think just potting is, is best. It's just a matter of how much he thinks I actually check back hands that have value on this turn. And I just have to bank that he knows that I will. Hopefully, anyway. There's not really much else I can do other than bank on that. And yeah, I mean, I've got pocket fours, so I'm all in, aren't I? I'd be interested to see if this is a thing. But we're all in. Good luck. Get snapped right. off by top set. Nice. Yeah, he's going to snap a lot there. Mask man, as your last contribution to the booth, I imagine. What? Um... Yeah, clear. I'll do the same thing. You do the same thing? Okay. Yeah. So it's a snap call, but you'd be like, well, if I've got an RTA, I might as well check if it's a call, right? That's going to be the only reason you wouldn't call instantly. It's not absurd at all. Queen, queen, and you can't spell queen, absurd. Queen, so queen, queen, blocks, queen, queen. Yeah, but the 10 also blocks things. Oh my God. Oh, I guess there's two thirds. This is really annoying. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Yeah. <laughs> nice river. That's a good river. He's gone for the trap ski and it's gone badly, although it wouldn't have mattered what he did, to be fair. Redraw? Oh, redraw? Reasonable. Oh, I thought you said redraw. I was like, where? Redraw. Calling Jack 10 Seward here in position. Oh! Oh! Oh, distribution! Oh! <laughs> It's all coming, it's all coming up Nick. I might just fucking shove. Because this guy's such a stain, he just has an overpair. This guy's getting exploited here. Rep the draw. Cool, please. Hold. Juice. Do it to him! Come on! Yeah. Let's fucking go! We had top two and got it in and won. Look, this is why you don't play like this is why you don't play like a fucking stain because I know exactly what you've got. This man's been exploited. Would do you think? Do you think you could shove there anyway against like normal situation? If you're like, I think if you're late positions, probably. I think with these tight ranges, maybe not. But I could be wrong. I also three bet ten eight suited to a small sizing against this fish and managed to drop three tens and he's donked. So we'll get to that in a second. We're going to check back this turn <laughs> and never will do his thing. Um, we're going to raise this flop. Very quick call. Not my favorite uh, turn card, to be honest, but we are just going to be going with this hand. Still want a better queen. And now I've got a boat, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, on the right hand side, we are going to over the river and obviously he's donked. Donk core. He's not got in so far, which is interesting. Still waiting for. I don't understand what he has. Well, he's just not, he doesn't know what he has either, probably. I got a fold over here. <laughs> he's got a straight? <laughs> Guys, look, he's got a straight. What do you want him to do? Yeah? He's come, he's got King Jack, he's played King Jack, he's got a straight. What do you want him to do? Fold? Not donk the river? Come on. Come on, Brian. What do you want him to do, mate? Come on, don't laugh. He's very low on options. Mate, the thing is, what if you turn ace queen to the bluff, repping queens? It's so sick. It's yeah, so sick. it is so sick. Is it just a cooler? How is that not randomly jamming? Just because he had ace deuce this time doesn't mean he always has an ace. Like, this is insane. Why are we talking about this? Call the three bet here, I got jack 10. I would like to. Uh, good sizing from Worky Bob. I'm gonna call, obviously. I would not. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you'd be very nice to play heads up against. You and James, like, I just do not want to play heads up against you ever. I lost I lost a huge pot against James. Ne next, I reload for 300 big blinds. I just like 2x pot, 2x pot, 2x pot. Yeah. <laughs> very next hand, so sick. So sick, so sick. Okay, so does Worky Bob follow through on this river? I think he has to shove when he does. A block top set, which is good, but I mean, I think he has to. Yeah, okay. So he's saying he has aces and kings only, pretty much. Um, how good is having a 10? Would I rather have ace 10? Almost certainly. Almost certainly, we'd rather have ace 10. Do I think he follows through ace king with a heart? 
pure, probably. I, I know he knows I'm a station. I know that he knows I'm a station. I'm so capped, it's untrue. Well, I have I have top, I have sets obviously, but boats and stuff, but I wonder if Ace-10 or, like if I should just call Ace-10 and King-10, uh, they're better. But also, he's gonna be, bl actually, he's always, he's gonna be bluffing Ace-King. Okay, worky Bob. Oh God, I really hurts to call this one. Yeah, it's close, I think. Maybe just call King, it, maybe, it'd be easy. what his bluff's gonna be, that's the thing. I feel like he should bluff King X. No, no, he shouldn't bluff King X because you don't have kings. Right, so what should he bluff? Uh, you're gonna have queens and jacks, right, at this stack though? So he should probably use- Yeah, but it's better to have a 10 than jacks. It's better to have jack 10 than jacks. No, 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 it's def definitely better to have- de Definitely better to have jack 10 than jacks, obviously. But I'm yeah. just saying, like, I would probably prefer to have ace 10 for sure. And then king 10, maybe. <laughs> Go 40 here. Check the turn pretty much all the time. Yeah, big bet check, I think. Easy call. This is gonna be weird. <clears throat> is anyone ever bluffing in this spot, guys? That was just nuts, wasn't it? Yeah, that was just too crazy, guys. I don't know why I did that. That was just too crazy. I just don't think anyone's ever... Like, he's not even thought about it. I know he's got a set, but like... And that's, by the way, A7-9. Yeah, 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 why not? It was three-bet pot. But... I just think he's most likely... Oh, I don't know. Maybe that... It's just a fucking punt, isn't it? Let's just not, let's just not go there. Let's just not go there.